Now the race to the moon is heating up. India is gearing up to make history. Its lunar aircraft Chandrayaan-3 is all set for launch. India's largest rocket LVM-3 stands assembled at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh. Now it will take Chandrayaan-3 to the moon. Our next report looks at how India aims to achieve new heights, sealing the country's place in the Space Leaders Club. Moon is believed to be the symbol of love. From poets to musicians, everyone has romanticized the moon. It is a source of inspiration for them. And for scientists, moon is a mystery which they want to solve. Back in the late 1960s, the world's two superpowers, the US and USSR, were contesting against each other to conquer the moon. In 1969, the USSR made its second attempt to test fire its own moon rocket known as N1. And in the Soviet era as well, Yuri Gagarin became the first person to go into space. Although USSR's attempt to put a man on the moon was never fulfilled, but the US was able to achieve this feat when its Apollo 11 mission took one giant leap for mankind. And now the space race is getting crowded. Another world superpower has entered the race to explore space. The US, Russia, China have already put their stamp on space. To give them competition, India has also entered the space race. The Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for the highly anticipated launch of Chandrayaan-3, its third lunar mission. Chandrayaan-3 will be landing near the lunar south pole. The south pole of the moon remains largely unexplored. It poses difficulties that no other missions have faced. But India is ready to take the challenge head-on with Chandrayaan-3. It will also become the fourth country to conduct a soft landing on the moon. Only the US, China and Soviet Union have achieved this feat so far. What is India's lunar aircraft going to do? It has three main objectives. First, to land safely on the lunar surface. Second, to conduct rover operations. And lastly, it will conduct scientific experiments on the moon. Now, Chandrayaan-3 will deliver a lander and rover to the lunar surface. The rover will explore, take samples, collect information for 14 Earth days. The moon mission is going to cost ISRO only 615 crore rupees, that is around 75 million dollars. Hollywood space movies like Interstellar and Gravity were more expensive than this. ISRO is known for its low-budget space missions. India's Mars orbiter Mangalyaan was a massive success in 2013. It cost ISRO only 470 crore rupees, that is roughly 57 million dollars. Chandrayaan-2, India's second lunar exploration mission, was worth 800 crore rupees or 97 million dollars. India is emerging as a key player in the global space sector. Excitement is high for the launch of Chandrayaan-3. Will India make history? The countdown has begun. Stay tuned. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. And for more on this, we are now being joined by a senior correspondent, Siddharth, Siddharth MP from the Chandrayaan-3 launch site in Sri Harikota. Welcome to the broadcast, Siddharth. Just earlier, we saw the, chief, uh, the ISRO chief paying his prayers uh, just ahead of the launch. What are you hearing from the site? Is there excitement, nervousness or both? Well, we can tell you from Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sriharikota that it's a cautious sense of optimism that the ISRO scientists maintain prior to every mission. This is nothing new because in space there are a lot of unpredictables. Uh, so what they follow is uh, do, do your best and leave the rest because uh, as far as ISRO is concerned, at least two years of testing has gone into this particular lunar spacecraft Chandrayaan-3. So in 2019, we all remember that just two kilometers above the lunar surface, when the spacecraft was going to touch down during a soft landing, the contact was lost, communication signals were cut off, and it was later understood that Chandrayaan-2 had crash landed on the lunar surface. But not to, you know, uh, be deterred by failures, Indian Space Agency took resolve that they will land on the moon, and that's how Chandrayaan-3 is ready on the launch pad right now. 
what we can say certainly is that at least two years of testing and hundreds and hundreds of tests have been carried out on the lunar lander so it's naturally cautious optimism that the scientists will follow and now that the countdown is underway at Sri Harikota a set pattern of processes are underway at the spaceport to ensure that various steps are carried out in the run-up to the launch this involves carrying out the crucial health checks of the rocket the launch vehicle and also the satellite then of course there will also be cooling mechanisms to ensure that the rocket and satellite are kept at optimum temperature in addition to that you know in the run up to the uh, launch there will also be the filling of liquid fuels that happen uh, electrical systems and mechanical systems will undergo their final checks all of this is underway at the spaceport and as far as our scientists are concerned they are on the job they are doing what they do best they are focusing on the mission because now that the rocket is at the launch pad much of uh, what happens now is left to computers and for automated systems to do because once the rocket is brought to the launch pad there are human intervention is very minimal they just have to monitor the systems and take the decisions at the right time absolutely Siddharth and the launch time is unique for every mission sometimes noon sometimes early morning so what is the science behind this timing uh, thank you Ananya for that question so uh, actually there's a branch of science that actually deals with this they call it orbital mechanics so just like how you and I would use a map service or a navigation service to reach a particular destination we decide when we have to leave and we uh, you know foresee at what time we'll reach likewise in a space mission what uh, a space agency like ISRO or NASA or any space agency would do is they would look at what vehicle or what rocket they're using they would consider uh, the distance they have to travel and they would also look at their objectives so when do they want to reach their destination so in this case India wants to soft land on the moon so when do we want to soft land on the moon we prefer to do so on August 23rd and we prefer to do so on August 23rd because at that time the lunar day begins or the daytime on moon begins and sunlight is available at the landing site so that's exactly exactly when we want to land so the calculations are done backwards so if you want to reach on August 23rd ISRO has a handful of dates that they calculate very appropriately and down to the minute this time is decided because we all know now that uh, there are thousands and even lakhs of uh, objects orbiting space orbiting earth right now they are called space debris right so these are old satellites these are rocket parts so even launch time down to the minute and second is decided such that when the rocket is launched at that time its complete travel path in space is free of any obstruction or free of any space debris so that is why each launch has a very unique time and of course it also depends on the dynamic factors such as the position of the Sun dynamic pack factors such as the position of the destination so moon is at a certain distance from earth today but around August 23rd it will be at a certain distance so all of these factors are considered and it's a lot of complicated science calculations this entire branch of science itself is known as orbital mechanics it's using this that these calculations are done and that is why down to a second you have launch times being calculated sometimes like you rightly pointed out it's early in the morning sometimes it's few minutes past midnight and tomorrow it's at 2 35 p.m. in the afternoon all right as you said Siddharth space is extremely unpredictable for scientists and it's also very complex for viewers so thank you so much for breaking it down word by word and what it means thank you so much for getting us all those insights we will be coming back to you as and when the launch happens